It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. There was a TV show that was really popular when I was growing up. The TV show was How to Catch a Predator, and the various episodes of that TV show, what happened was that the main host does a, like an expose about various type of predators that are targeting kids on the internet. And of course, it's always fun to just see the reaction of the predators and what they did to the, of course, the victims to the kids. And when I see these type of videos on TikTok, I'm actually concerned about the safety of kids, largely because sometimes they get lured into very scary ideas or people who are, have like a cult of personality. And so the video that I'm going to talk about is a video that was done by a user. His name is like uh, Jeffrey Marsh. And so without further hesitation, let's see the video and I'll give my personal reaction to it. So you're going no contact. You're considering going no contact. <laughs> you're semi 25% of the way toward an open door on the subject of no contact. And you're feeling guilty. So one of the things I needed to get over, um, I'm no contact with my family. All, all of them. Siblings, parents, uh, extended family, cousins, everybody. And the thing I wanted to point out to you today in this video about going no contact is... I didn't consider my own feelings, as painful as it is, the pain of being a person who goes no contact is nothing compared to the daily pain you've been in from being in relationship with these folks. I love you. Have a good time going no contact. When I saw that video for the first time, my alarm bells just immediately went up. And the main reason why I say this is because it's like one of the signs that you see within organized religions or within cults. Usually the religious leader or the cult leader will actually encourage the followers to actually abandon their families or their friends for the sake of their particular faith. It happens in Christian circles all the time when people decide to leave Christianity. Of course, many Christian families want to disown that person. It happens in Islamic circles all the time where basically, of course, they try to either kill that person or completely abandon that person just because they think differently than the whole entire out group. And so this sort of end group versus out group stuff is the stuff of religion, it's the stuff of cults, and it's unfortunate because right now as I speak, TikTok is one of the most popular video sites out there, which means that there are plenty and plenty of chances for cult of personality types to actually read little kids right now, especially in video format. Now Obviously, people cannot choose their parents. They have, of course, things that they have to live with until they're actually an adult. And so naturally, of course, there are going to be parents that's going to accept you no matter what. And of course, there's going to be parents out there who might be bigoted, who might also, of course, like, you know, hate somebody just because they're gay, usually by religious motivations on why they hate somebody or disown somebody just because they're gay. I don't think it's actually a good idea or a good message to tell kids to disown their parents if that parent was actually, of course, loving and caring and all that stuff. As a case-by-case -case base, of course, when they're 18 years old, obviously by the legal age standard in America, you're pretty much an adult. And so you need to actually, of course, make the right kind of decision for yourself. And so if you're actually living in a household and I guess somebody's like, you know, really, really, really bad to you, of course, obviously, in that kind of case, it's actually best to leave that person. But if somebody was caring for you and, of course, did not do any type of bad thing 
whatsoever to you. I don't see how this would actually help a situation now if you're gonna abandon people that actually care about you. That's very cult-like. Hi love, here are three reasons why sex is difficult for you. Oh, there's this great big romantic, I don't know what, narrative from movies, TV, film, our whole lives that tell us sex is supposed to be easy, wonderful, amazing, <laughs> trauma-free. And that's not true for all of us. Number one, it might be childhood trauma. You might have difficulty letting go. You might have difficulty being stress-free. You may have difficulty getting out of the voices in your head. All of that's pretty natural and it's a process of letting go. Number two, it might be difficult to connect with the person you're with. You may be the kind of person that connects in order to be aroused and it may be difficult to connect with that person. And number three, you might be driving yourself too hard toward a goal that belongs to someone else. Give, give yourself time to figure out what you want. Remember when I talked about earlier about how to catch a predator? This right here is just absolutely creepy. Incredibly creepy. Like, who in his right mind actually thinks that getting sex advice for a teenage demographic and little children is actually a good thing to have publicated in front of millions upon millions and millions of people? I'm just kind of curious. How is not like the FBI going after people like him? Because that is disturbing. Incredibly disturbing. Because at the end of the video, he mentioned that he has a Patreon page and he asked people to go to his Patreon page to make sure to see some more behind the scenes footage. And God knows what he's gonna do underneath the course of behind the scenes footage if the stuff that he's saying right now is already inappropriate. Imagine yourself being a 13 year old girl and that 13 year old girl decides to go on TikTok for the first time and she comes across this guy's page and he's giving sex advice to a 13 year old girl. Like, I would be really disgusted if I saw my daughter or my son seeing that kind of video on their own cell phones. Millions of people around the world have cell phones nowadays. And to this day, I believe that kids also, as young as six years old, are using their cell phones. If they came across a video like that, unsupervised, and they're hearing all this kind of advice from a complete stranger, I mean, that itself is just absolutely repugnant. In conclusion, I would say, that you guys, if you're a parent or you're like, you know, a brother or a sister to somebody who is like really, really young, I encourage everybody to keep a close watch on that kind of person and make sure that there are parental controls. That way nobody actually get in contact with this. And I will also encourage people to report this person to the FBI because obviously he's doing some sort of predatory behavior because people like him deserve some time in jail and not be near kids anytime soon.
everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's 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 everyone's friend.